Alright people, so deck profile for Fluffles, it kind of makes me sad. I was having a lot of fun with this deck, but sadly it did not get to carry over for nine months, which is fine, which is fine. So we're going to do the deck profile, get save Pharrell to Fluffles, maybe they'll come back, maybe another month. I'd be super happy if they did, because this deck was a lot of fun. I never played Fluffles before, and I enjoyed myself this past month with this deck. Probably one of the funnest decks on Daily Duels, just because the combos and the plays, and it's just, oh my god. Like, yeah, I can definitely see how good this deck is now since I played it. So let's go ahead and do the deck profile, and uh, it's probably not the best level deck that you've ever seen. It's probably crap in a lot of departments, but I'll go over the reason why I did everything in here. So, yeah. Starting off, Fluffle Dog. 1700 beta, that's a searcher. I mean, come on. Searcher that Sabres, who's very important for busting out that freaking uh, Tiger, who's your go-to guy, and or just searching for a Fluffle Monster, and, you know, you run your searchers, definitely. Uh, Chain. This guy is good for sheep, but you generally don't do that. Uh, you just send him to the graveyard for a fusion to go ahead and get that search of, uh, any Fright for a card, and that includes Fright for a fusion, so the power. Send Chain, get a fusion, Fright for a fusion, Miracle fusion, oh yeah. Uh, Triple Sabres. I decided to go with Triple Sabres. I see a couple people playing only two, but Sabres is just so freaking important for getting out that tiger that I would rather have it than not have it. You know, I'd rather open up with fucking Triple Sabres than open up with no Sabres. That's just how I feel about it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, definitely Triple Saber. Then Bear, you know, get that toy vendor for the toy vendor wing shenanigans. You know how this deck does. It's ridiculous. So, uh, go ahead and send it to, uh, send it to a graveyard, set a toy vendor, and then what is its other effect? You can chip this card to target one poly in your graveyard and add it to your hand. I did not know it did that. <laughs> I did not know the bear did that. This entire month I played this fucking deck, and all the time I was just like, "Bear, get, get, give me the toy vendor, give me the toy vendor, fuck your other effect." I didn't even know you had another effect. I thought it was just get down in there. No, he contributed himself to get a fucking poly back from the girl. That would have been pretty helpful if I would have known that. But uh, I gotta use one or something. But still, that would have been really helpful. Uh, I went with Triple Owl, and the reason why I went with Triple Owl is because it gets me poly, and I'd rather have it than not have it, you know? Like, I can run, like, one or zero owls, never get the poly, I could just run Triple Owl, always have the poly, and you know what? Having more than one owl is not bad, because he would just be another material for the fusion, so... Uh, yep, yep, Al, so give me that poly, and then, of course, I can pay the 500 to you summon a Fright for a monster from extra, I can use a monster from my hand or field, so, now uh, can I, uh, it kind of sucks that you can only use one effect of Al once per turn, only once a turn, so that'd be great if you could just summon Al, get to search, and then use his effect to poly, and then keep, hold on to that poly, it'd be great, but no. Uh, one cat. Uh, get me back in Polly. Like I said, we're running Bear, who can apparently do that, but Cat's nice, because it kind of interrupts the plays, I kind of got fucked over in a duel before I played Fupples, I think, I can't remember what, what I was playing, but, I mean, no, my, my point was that we playing Fupples. Uh, he fusion summoned for Tiger, but he used Cat as one of the materials, so it was like Tiger effect, I had Solemn Warning, I was gonna, I mean, I mean Solemn Notice, I was totally gonna, or Solemn Strike, whatever, I was totally gonna hit him with it, but then Cat went off to interrupt and give him back Polly, and then if I would've strike, I would've hit the Cat, and then Tiger wiped on my shit, and I lost, so, Cat is a good interrupter, and it's nice to get your Polly back, I kinda, like I said, I kinda wish that, uh, uh, Moonlight to get a card like this, that when it's sent to Grey Red as a Fusion Chill, you could target one Palmization of Grey Red, add that target to your hand. That's what exactly what a Moonlight monster needs. That's what they need. Yeah, you know, it's nice that they're getting all that monster born. I saw that, but no, they need this. <laughs> they need a, a fluffle cat. <laughs> all right, uh, Triple Wings. I think some people play too, but I was like, nope, Triple Wings, because either I go ahead and have the play and it goes off and be, and be stupid and I plus a whole bunch, or I just use the Fusion Material and it gets to the Grey Red anyway. So, like I said, I'd rather have it than not, so that's the reason why I went with three. And then Triple King of the Swamp, I'm an idiot, and I did not know this for a cool minute until I got taught by my friend Luna, really. Because I was like, wait, I mean, why did I run King of the Swamp? Why? To get a poly? That's dumb. No. King of the Swamp's name can be, uh, it can't be the fluff, one or more fluff ones, but it can be the sabers, it can be the chain. So, yeah, definitely, uh, uh, King of the Swamp. And pitch it to get a poly. But mostly, it's just to become the name of the chain. Or sabers. Yep. Alright, so, uh, 22 monsters. I'm uh, moving on. Cut, of course, try for fusion, let's go, you know. I think at least half of the duels that were played while this deck was here, which is me and my uh, partner, but mostly me, uh, OTKing 16,000 life points because of this fucker. So, yeah, so try for fusion, let's go. Polly, of course, I like this art and the, uh, the other one. Uh, toy vendor, uh, just this combo. Look, as soon as I saw that Fluffles were freaking on here, I was like, triple bear, triple wing, triple toy vendor. I think those like the, the, the first thing that I put in here. Uh, only two Twin Twister, because this deck, there's not a lot of things that I want to pitch too much. There's a couple of things, but not really. And while I've been infatuated with Twin Twister as of late, I am running the Road of Cree. I could probably go two Road of Cree, three Twin Twister, but yeah. Plus, also, I got Tiger, who can also handle, uh, things in that sense as well, so. But I love Twin Twister, arguably my favorite spell card in the game right now, so. 
Yeah, I've been putting three in a lot of the decks, and I just, I guess I didn't decide to update this deck and put three, because I probably would put, th put three. Uh, one Fright for Factory. This card is actually good as well. Uh, at first I was like, ah, oh, no, it's not good. Like, yeah, it's actually good. Uh, that's because you can banish a, a fusion spell card. So, you know how many times I've done just Insta Fusion, summon cheap, then play Fright for Factory, banish Insta Fusion to get a fusion. You just sheep, sheep with two others, summon the Saber, and the Saber will send me back to sheep. So, yeah. And, of course, Insta Fusion, summon them sheeps, or, 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 because or, you can go ahead and go Insta Fusion, summon sheep, 2,000. Run into your opponent's monster, if they're strong on you, you'll die, come back, because when you're short of battle, you come back and attack with a 28 beater, who has an Armadius effect, and then you won't be destroyed during the end phase in Insta Fusion, because you are already killed and came back on the field and kind of reset the play, so, yeah. Uh, but also, just to make sure, and, uh, she doesn't hit the fan, I'm running that one Norden for that one Castell. I think it saved me, I want to say twice, once or, once or twice, right? I, I, either, I think once I forgot about him, but then the other time I was like, oh yeah, Insta Fusion summon Norden, Norden summon Castell, let's go, you know? So, definitely, if you're running Insta Fusion, you're running Norden. Simple as that, but mostly it's for sheep. And then Royal Crave. Uh, triple Saber, I mean, I mean, Triple Tiger. I don't think I ever use Triple, but I'd rather have him than not have him. The extra deck is kind of flexible in here. Uh, triple Sheep, Insta Fusion plays, mostly. Uh, triple, I mean, Double Wolf, so... I'm proceeding to get that FTK in, OTK in, let's go. Uh, triple Saber Tiger, I could probably cut him down, but still. Uh, I said he's probably my go-to play, summoning a nice 28 Beals, along with summoning back my, uh, what would be 32 Armades, like, let's go, right? Uh, one, uh, Fright for Leo, I don't think I made this guy once. Uh, I guess I could make him with King of, with, uh, King of Swamp, he could be a Saber in one Fuffle, but I just, I never made him. I really did. I really didn't. And I guess he is good. You can target him with his monster opponent controls, destroy if you do inflict damage to your opponent. You don't use effect, you can't attack, uh, your opponent directly. So he's kind of like a Volcasaurus. So it's not terrible, but I just never made him. I already talked about Norden, uh, the guy who slammed roll to recycle, and then cast down. So I'll that. So this deck was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and take it and play it yourself or make any changes to it, more power to you. But, uh, yeah. So, we got one more deck profile, people. Uh, we got to do the deck profile of, of Moonlight Lunar Lights. Uh, this is pre, pre, uh, Revival spell card. So, that kind of sucks. That would have definitely helped. <laughs> but, no, oh, too late now. And, uh, I will be using Necro for the first time. I'm actually going to have a special guest join me. And we're going to try something different. Because I've never played Necro, so I don't want to fuck it up too bad. So, yeah, you'll find out. Anyway. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys tomorrow with more Daily Duels.